Hello, hello, Fay Cat fans. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh my god, I'm here. I don't think I'm fucking anything up this time, so let's do this. I got everything ready. Just a quick show off. I spelled everything right. This is my world. No foliage popped in yet. It even saved the time of day. Or maybe... Maybe that's just the time I have it set to start at. I think that's the time I have it set to start at. But I can save the time of day if I want. Anyway. Oh, um, this is what I have in my game, as everyone knows. Should be familiar with. It's so cool. Gotta do the art stuff. Art is easy. Let's do the hard stuff. So, Close it there, Chi. And we, what is... Oh, I have my other hard drive plugged in right now. I was copying. Copying some jazz. So I think I can... I can close that up. Make sure you, you know, always back up your projects. Just always do it. It's very important. It's very important. Ejectaroo. We'll do it down here. Well, that's fine. I'm not gonna mess with the hard drive. Let's see what I did yesterday. It's real simple. I can put on my jacket. It's a shiny lake robe. Because I felt like making it a leak texture. And it doesn't, it clips through because I put like, just, I just, this isn't for appearance's sake. Look, he's got like makeup. I don't even have the eye button. But the point is, I can remove it. I press O, it puts it in my item. I press P, it equips. Put I, it puts it in my item, nothing. And press P, it equips nothing. So it's a little bit of like, you know, see how that works in general. But I'm working on, I want, this is experimental, purely experimental. I'm trying to figure out what some nice uh, methods of saving stuff is salt you know what I'm also gonna do I'm actually gonna open up my other project too my main one I'm gonna have to uh, load it up here again okay there we go so you guys can see how long the delay is between my microphone and my typing um, so but I will type more immediately when I can I'm gonna open up my main project which is going to be difficult with all this jazz. Oh, I know what I have to do. If you close Windows Explorer, duh, that's the one that's using it. Okay. I should be able to eject that now. Alright. Let me know if there's any weird echo, if my voice suddenly cuts out. It's hard to tell if the microphone jack's messing up. But now I should be able to kind of open up my my Epic Games launcher, and yeah, now I only have this guy. All right, because that was in my external hard drive. All those other backup projects were showing up. Not all of them, obviously. That would be crazy. So tell me where you're from. What do you do? What are you working on? Only one guy here. Girl, maybe. Girl programmers are. Uh, thing should be respected. Alright, so I want to look at the way I do my save game here, because I started doing this probably like six months ago when I did this, and I got it all working and nice and stuff, so of course I forgot how I did it then, but it's just like learning it, it's just as easy to remember, and the third time you remember, you basically know what you're doing. So this is just the game state, how many player state. Here, and save. So various stuff happening based on what happens here. This is if the game exists, does not exist. You need to create a save game like instance. Oh. Oh, we can co oh. You put the inputs on there. That's how you add the data to it. That's that's. Psh, this is why it's important to have. Uh... So let's go here. So does it exist? No. Create save game object. No. Create new save game. It's gonna be the first thing I want. So this is the wrong thing right here. Let's just all right. Maybe it has to be done on the players. So create new save. Oh no, this is a, this is an event I made. Oh shit. Okay, so what I'm doing is creating save game object, so I can keep that. Sorry, this is why I don't like. Uh, functions and stuff because it's easier to just see everything all on one chart. I know it's more efficient when you need to do things 
multiple times, so I do take advantage of that when necessary. But if you're just doing like a one-off thing, there's really no reason to embed function calls and stuff, because yeah, it looks neater, but there might be pages and pages of things underneath that function that could be messing you up and you don't realize it unless you go through them. Maybe it's more organized in some people's way, but anyway. You need save game object, and I cast to it, set it to be the local variable, if not failed. And then print string and save password, set save password. Oh, on that personal CV set. Alright. I think this is what I was doing before. So we'll set it to be the local variable, so now it's a reference to here. So then we're gonna go to the save game. Cast to it. Right? And oh wait. Cast to it and then promote the variable. Huh, that's it. Do that on both sides here. Go. If I have to. See me jamming on the drums with the guy on bass, by the way. Yeah, Jonah. So yeah, they both get a cast too. Both get them set afterwards. This is my player state. Yeah, okay. So load, save, cast to, then set, and uh, oh, wait. this is the where I want to save that. That's that's elsewhere. This Actually, uh, this is what I'm looking at for. I'm sorry, this is confusing. If you're really trying to learn, you can check the last couple videos. Only an hour each. Me just fussing around. This is a total experiment, though. Again, this is me. By the end of this, I'll figure out what the nice, clean way to do it is, and I'll put like the last minute of it to be a real summary. So you can just chill until then. I'll just talk to myself. That's how I do it. So. Okay, so I was using the wrong title. This has to be my personally created one. There we go. Okay. It's just like a giant puzzle logic challenge. Or you could learn. Learning is good. I learned for a while. Yeah, you can't start figuring out the logic if you don't learn a bit. <laughs> or you can just copy pasta yourself. And then I'm setting the variable. See, on my real game, I went ahead and put these little player state, player state, before the things that get passed around. Because the idea is, I want equipment to be actors or objects and not structures of information. Although I really could just make them structures of information. This is the way I've been doing things. So I'm basically I'm doing this experiment to find an alternative method by using actors to store data. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I don't care about this. Alright, so the idea is I have in the save data. Let's get it from here instead. This is my yeah, I'm trying to use child actor components to see if I can use them for efficient data passing. So I think from here you have to get it again, because it's silly. You can't get it again from here because that's what it is. You see, it's just there, there's just okay. Anyway, from here you cast to it the item. That's what it is. And we're going to what are we doing here anyway? This is for like save the game. Yeah. So we're gonna set as item. So I have a third person character. Get child actor the variable reference, and then I probably have to, let's see, set cast to item, actually, I wonder if I can do set child actor class, I mean save game set child actor, hmm, yeah, 
see him just running into dead ends like I said I would. You can always set the class, which I guess is okay, but that means you can't change variables on it. I could try, like, an array of structs, or... So basically, I'm gonna... It's just... You can't get the actor itself and just pass it through. Set child actor? Wait, let's try this. Okay. Alright, never be dismayed. Since this child actor is coming from the third person character, and we're gonna set it to be the one in the save game. And then we can... Save game to slot. Get the name of it. Blah, 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 blah. Slot name, slot name, name. There we go. And... Just go with that, eh? This is irrelevant if you're doing multiplayer. Okay. So this is basically what I just put there. Let's just uh, print a string saying get the display name of the child actor on the save data. Turn by print string. Okay. And now on load game, this means taking child actor set. Yeah, the local. Okay. And get display name, print string. And then we'll don close, which will be print what the pool is before and after equipping. So basically, the save game's gonna put it on our hand, essentially. Or. Let's just see what happens. Let's mess around. Okay, so O. Let's see, wear it. I'm gonna press I. Well, actually, no, wait. Let's go O and wear. U saves my name. And I'm going to hit. I and P again, so I'll make it now, but I haven't saved- oh wait, no, O and P, okay. E to save the game, did it say something? It didn't print anything. It's not printing anything. Well, okay, this probably doesn't work. Uh, so then I'll take it off and hit R, and hit P again? No, okay. So, where's the error coming up? No errors! This wasn't printing a string, so this probably... Oh, it does exist, that's why. Okay, so let's... Let's just save the game, not doing... We'll just bypass the does it exist part. I'll just fuck off here, fuck off here, there you go. Alright. I don't need this. Alright, much cleaner. Alright, so we are... Casting the character, uh, creating a save game. Oh, I didn't set the class. Look at that. Okay. All right, that should help. Cast to it. Set the local variable. So we are calling it this thing. I don't really even need to do that, to be honest. But that's for later. <coughs> Child actor from the third person character gets set to the one on the save data, and then we're gonna save that to that name, and we're gonna print. All right, that should work better. So wear it. You sets my name. It's because this is a test project, so I have to do something like that. Uh, I'm gonna E. Oh, look, it's saved. Got the child actor. Okay, so I'm gonna press I. I'm gonna press R. Press P. No? No? Wait, okay. So it's doing something, right? Okay, O and then load it. I wonder if I, I should just do, do a printout. So wait. So I can see what my current stats are. So first, okay. uh, this whole before and after thing. Let's just take this off. Control click that to bring it over there. Now I've got this separated. Now this is its own thing. And we can just do this on. Uh, I'm not using the other name. Well, I wanted actually. Let's we're keeping that to test changing save games different variables. So I need another input L look. Yeah. Alright. So that'll just I'll just tell me what it is. And um I'll 
also, what am I doing it from the item? Okay, so it's getting data from the item. That's the important thing. I'm basically saying I'm getting things from it. Buffs or whatever. So, oh, I've got it. U, is that my name? E, is that person? Okay. Um, I guess I'll off, press R. Okay, so it's doing the equip. Let's let's take a look at uh, controller again. This is the R. This person character load game from slime. I guess I'm not really using the variable of it anyway. This is to load the game. Alright, so that's the idea. Let's not do jumping to dawn close. Let's just skip that. Alright. That's probably why it's like actually doing the process. Of, oh, I'm in. Use my name. E is save. I remove. R. Hmm. Okay, let's say O. Okay. Uh, and I. It's like this. Oh. If I save it, if I do this and save it, it still says 167 child actor. I think that's the thing, it just doesn't save whatever you've made it. It's just. But I'm getting variables, so I could just. Let's go to my R, my equip thing again. What am I doing? I'm test the item, get the skeleton mush, set skeleton mush here. I guess that's just proof, this is evidence that you can't save data just by... I mean, it seems to be like... I really think everything is in order the way it would be. Get the item, and then set the skeleton, set these variables. <laughs> Freaking... Oh, shit. Oh, okay, she's good. My dog here, hold on. I feel like it should work. Save it to Y now. I should do a little test on these too, just make sure. Oops.
Yeah, it did not change the variables on the actor. I think it's gonna have to be structs. Uh. Alright, let's do structs then. Alright, on my real game here. So I made a backup, so I can just start messing around. What would be the best way to organize structs then? Let's do some research. Oh wow. It's funny, has this been showing down here the whole time? A freaking reset button. Anyway, hmm. Oh yeah, there's a way. I have like a 10 item array and just like dash and just like set the index item number to be each of them you know that might work so we're gonna make this. see these are structs of things this is player info has all this crap on it like it has an array on there. So, but I, I think the array works on the struct. I get errors, but I can fix them occasionally. Maybe I should try taking this out and do it a different way. Array and struct. Let me just check. There's more of this stuff. where it all goes wrong with the bugs and stuff, so let's, I'm trying to do this to figure out a better way of doing it, so let's figure it out. <laughs> See, this is the thing. Using them in arrays is bad, okay. Create a blueprint. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And fill it with global variables and use that instead of a struct. You always have a pass by reference you want. This is what I'm trying to do. I guess child actor doesn't work. So we'll just try actor blueprint basically. So we'll do this, let's close this down. Save, uh, let's go to the other one. It ain't got that swing, it ain't got that thing. So. Instead, we will do, instead of child actor, <sighs> so skeleton -ish. we'll do, I have a blueprint already, like, this is it, item, so let's just do, should I make it a component or just a, vari a variable, right? Okay, so just item one. Let's call it, um, um, item, like I want to pretend this is like what I'm really doing, so this would be chest item. an item. Is that child 
take the class now. So I and you. Yeah. Oh, okay. This will be picking up your basic one, right? Let's say so. So we get it first, then we can set various things. So we can set the uh, defaults. Set class, I guess. be that, I guess I can say no nope. <laughs> ah, this fucking life Alright, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to... Oh, let me, oh maybe compiling helps. Any other things here? Okay, uh... Child actor. Is that a child? Um, chat. Don't need to cast to it. Okay. Why is he still on here? Like, do I? Does Armando Alvarez have to log on to Twitch? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's gonna be one of them Gumby days. Which I'm not even doing that anymore, so. No for setting these things. Yeah, 
that's what I'm trying to do. So I want it to be like... I don't know how there's item class... No? This item... Do I have to spawn an actor then? How you doing, Hot Young? Okay, so now I've set it to be item here. And then we'll just do the same with set it to be a robe here. Uh, so it exists, but I don't know. I guess location, collision handling, do, do not spawn. Yeah, don't even want it to be here. And this is fine. Okay. What's this? Transform of get actor transform self. All right. All right. Okay. So that'll set that. Then on P we want to the set that new mesh the item skeletal mesh. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the save game stuff. What are you working on these days, Hadjan? Do you got something going on? This is like my first time playing guitar in like a year. I think I still got it. Okay, I lie. I probably picked the guitar up sometime in the past year. But like hardly. Not in a jam. Anyway. Bing! Anyway. So I changed that. I am the save game. So now on the controller when I'm doing this jazz. Now it's still, this is from the target on the save data. Okay, let's see, this should be... Did I, did I... Compiled it? Oh, it's called child actor still. Let's call it... Uh, just... Item. If we can spell. Okay, so this chest item to that chest item. Get his name. Okay, and then... Load game. Set chest item here. This one. Okay. Print the string of this one. Okay. Um, this should be all good, right? Let's see if like it works and stuff. Like, geez. Okay. Op works. Ip works. Op. Uh, U Y U. Okay. E saved robe one. Oh shit! If I take it off and then go R P. Yes. Yes, and someone subscribed simultaneously. It's a victory. <laughs> I missed it. Inexable. Ins. Masterskaya. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm like, I can't read that shit. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's 
thanks for the sub. Dosvidania. Ochen. Spasiba. Uh, okay, this is... Since someone just subscribed, let me show off my real game. Right? Do I have it open right now? So, no. That's pretty awesome, though. I'm very happy about that. I'll come back to that in a second. So basically, just saving an actor. Save the very. What I want to test next is if I can change variables on that actor at runtime, save it, and then have it. So basically, that would be like, oh, I have a sword, but I've dyed it red and given it a flame enchantment. So now I can save it as that sword with that enchantment and stuff. We'll see. That's just a little victory lap dance here. Feels good, you know? Haha, <laughs> another one. She got hiding. Nice. I didn't thought you were a subscriber already. <laughs> oh, the chat is still showing all my discrepancies. Uh oh. I should refresh that so I don't appear to be uncouth. It's loading the game right now. Wait for the... Wait for the... Oh wait, so this... Yeah, so th this one started at daytime. I think legit it is um, saving the time of day when I quit and load up. I just forgot that I had programmed it to do that. So I'm like surprising myself with my own uh, stuff. But anyway, here you got the open world kit demo, kite demo stuff. See this fancy no-clip thing I've made? So that when you're too close, the camera backs up. And uh, I should just make it so that it... Uh, I was saying... Actually, now that I know how to do this, let me see if it would be easy to... I'll show you what I just did instead of trying to figure it out on my real game because I'm scared <laughs> so actually just going through this again will be good so I can refresh my memory of what I just actually did I'm all, not all the bullshittery of uh, just before that alright so on the character, we can save and load a game, which go to the player controller. So that's actually player controller events. This is just a way of passing them. So let's ignore that. That's a player controller. Event. So then uh, on I, I spawn an item, and on O, I spawn another kind of item. It would be bank blank item, which has no variables. It's like your none, and then robe, which has the variables. Um, so that's just a blank blueprint item, actor blueprint with a skeletal mesh variable and a couple of variables I put in here just to see if I can change them. So let's just do that too. So we'll do I and O will change which class it is basically and just set it to be that. But let's do put K, my favorite letter. Um, set uh, get chest item, right? Chest item, get uh, and let's just set bool. There we go be off, even though it by default is on for the chest item, and we'll set float to be uh, 333, so that's very distinct, I know that's it's doing it. Okay, so, um, then I have basically P, which gets all the variables from chest item, the item, the variables on the item itself, like I just set them there and our default are different from the blank one. I get those variables such as skeletal mesh, and I'll set the, the skeletal mesh, the tunic here, I'll set its skeletal mesh, the component on me, so that's, you know, synced up to, to line up. It also has a uh, set master pose component on begin play, and that runs constantly, even if I change it. So even if I'm changing this actor class and back and forth, it's still synchronizing constantly, which is very cool. So, then I set the other variables from the chest item reference that I've set by 
it's this, you know, I've set this here, and I'm getting it and getting those variables and setting my local variables, so there's this pool and this float to be those. Uh, and then print a string to say what they are. And this is just a print a string to say what they are. This is the default shit. This has changed my name for different save games, so I can test that out. Um, and on the player controller, I just did a basically a save and a load game, so... That's kind of funny. I actually have to do that here. So the... It's so funny. You have to do create save game object on the controller, but... The name comes from the character. So I'm casting literally to the controller from the character, then casting to the controller from the character, just to get this to do this. Um, and from here, I create a save game object and I cast to that. Set that the variable being set afterwards apparently is very important. And then uh, basically get the chest item of the character and the name of the character. And we're gonna pass this item on into the save data thing. And then save that save data thing after that gets set in there to be with this name okay, that's it and then load is gonna be cast to the character to get its name and load that game then using that we cast to it I could set the variable here control click So basically, we're going to take these other references. We're going to say this from the save game. All right, that's just for continuity's sake. Um, and so when we get, we're loading a save game and we're setting a local variable to it, we're basically just going to say, get the save game's chess item and set this local uh, third person character's chess item to that. And then just display it. So what I'm going to do is put one on as Armando. Oh, Noob Saibot. Okay. We put one on as Noob Saibot. Save Noob Saibot says robe. Then I'm going to take it off, load the game, put it on. Cool. So say for example, if I take it off and I hit P still, it's not putting it on because it's currently empty. But if I hit R, it's loaded the game. I hit P, it pops it on. So now I will go or er, it again, but I will save as Armando and save. It says item two. This is interesting. Um I'll put it on, but I'll press, and if I keep pressing P, it's like, okay, you're continuing to wear this item you have. If I press R, it's loaded the game, and I hit P, it equips that non-item. So obviously, like, when you press load game, you want to have the load and the equip thing happen at the same time. But this is for demonstrative purposes. purposes, purposes. Uh, so now I'm gonna change my name back to Noob Saibot. Load the game, equip, yes. Now I'm going to do... Uh, L, see, this is what the bull and the float are. So I'm going to do is K, press L. Bull is true. Oh, wait, hey. Maybe P? Oh, there we go. Cool, bull is false inside of P. Okay. <laughs> so now I will save the game. Let's go to I. And uh, let's even load up Armando here. So I'll press R, press equip. So, oh, see, I'm blank. Okay, and this is the ones from before. Now I will go to Noob Saibot and I will load the game and I will press P and I will look at it. It's false and 333. Shit works, it's nice. Ah, oh, dude. I think I was fit, but. <laughs> oh, cool. A bunch of items. Just, all right, let's go investigate the Make Human uh, community <laughs> real quick. I have one post on here. <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's just check this out real quick. The forum. Let's see some work in progress. Let's see what they're doing. There's angel wings. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see. Wait, this is all. You can use it. This is all open source. 
You can use it in your projects. You can even sell your projects with all of these things. So this is some new stuff that's been coming out. Let's see. But it's like... Oh, a wolf had someone make... Oh, eh, no. See, it's... Yeah. You gotta be... You gotta go through all of it. But, um... <laughs> let's do show-offs, right? Gallery. Alright, cover your eyes. Look at this! Look at this shit! <laughs> Oh, here's mine. Still nobody's replied to it in a while. But basically, the, um... These are my guys, right? The dude that made them responded. Harvey, sweet, love university, it's good to see. Thanks. And he's like, looks great, getting things in game is hard part, most satisfying. Functions are great, keep at it. Hey, thanks. You wanna make some more? Here's a lizard man idea. And he's like, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, here's a baboon. So, I could put this baboon guy in the game later on. Like, the facial features? That might be cool. Maybe, like, blend this with some of the other things to make, like, kobolds? Uh, anyway. Totally sidetracked. Alright, so this shit works and everything is pretty amazing, right? I mean, it saves variables. I know how to do what I want to do now. The idea is basically, let me just refresh my memory on that. You're saving a... And... Okay, you're saving the base item blueprint class. So I could say chest item, I could have head item, blah 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 blah. These are items, so I can make these destructive items. Or an array of items, but destructive items is... I mean... The idea, because then you can save all of them at once, just by passing a struct through. So... I think I don't want to rush right into working on my game with this idea, because it's like, ooh, fresh nerve endings. But let's let's try incorporating my man here. Let's go back. Let's see if we can get this uh, a kobold. Let's make a kobold with this. All right. Is this the button? It's the button I want. Alright. Just kind of I'll copy it. Let's see. I don't remember where I store them. It's like documents make human. Uh, shit. I don't remember. Let's go back on the website. Uh. <laughs> Right, list of locations. It downloads. No, that's not what I want. No. Destination, creating assets, contributing. the frickin' <laughs> um. I can download- the page isn't on here. <laughs> Hilarious. 
Moving assets into Blender. Okay, here we go. Recording and making a uh, make for a render. funny. I guess I could just search for it. Is there something here? Dude. Wait, so, no, it's not in here, right? It's like, I don't want data. I want, like, let's see what all these things are. Licenses include icons, exports, data. Yes, and yes, you can have your penis. But I don't. life is confusing. In a subdirection of your home, subdirector of your home, data direct. Oh. Custom. The custom is a pretty obvious one, isn't it? I guess I don't have a custom one. Where, is, where are they? I wonder if I'm even in the right. Make human. Human TF always. Okay. I get sketches into. Just in data, right? In V1 data. Custom. There it is. There's all my guys. Yellow fears, orange smoke. Okay. Alright, now let's go into make human. V1. Like, for fuck's sake, right? Knowledge is power. Alright, so now it should be under custom. RV Monkey! Haha. Uh, where do I do this? All the different buttons. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, alright, so, wait, this is androgynous and everything too, so let's just go to, let's make it a dude, we'll make a male cobalt first. Make him kinda. Yeah, that looks like scrawny ish, more built ish, I don't know. The controls are so weird. Okay, um... Yeah, they would be like scrawny freakers, right? Very short. Proportions? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have so many weird ass races. Look at this guy. <laughs> but I think, like, holds would be kinda ish. I don't know if I'm gonna get what I want out of doing this. For the most part, just to like keep variables consistent, and go like that. But then I change skin color and stuff later on, just so, like a uniformish. Let's see. Since this is a creature, I can kind of do whatever I want, though. It's a unique creature. It's kind of cool, a big head. I'm trying to 
gonna go for just kind of. Christ, man. Shit, you've been doing this. Yeah, it's more like the microphone, right? How's this? And get a little tweak there. It's all about them levels. Sorry about that. But basically, making a cold bulb. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Kobolds. Move horizontally? Oh, fuck. You can reset by right clicking to move vertically. Game real low, maybe a little bit. I like a squattish depth. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Scale tone shape. Oof. A dorsal muscle. Dorsey. Jesus. Okay. Pectoral muscles. Jesus. I guess? Should be a little bit ripped. Should be a little bit intimidated about cobalt, right? Alright. This likes fingers, really long fingers. Space between the fingers? What's going on here? I'm not seeing it. Really not seeing it, are you? Oh, there it is. Is this just... I feel like I'm only seeing it on one hand. It's only happening to one hand. Yeah, totally. That's awesome, though. <laughs> Why can't it be both? One right hand's all messed up. It's wrong. A right hand. Or his left hand. <laughs> What? <laughs> There's an elf ears. Some horns. Clingy. Klingony. Oh, Harvey, your stuff is so good. 
RV basically made my creatures. Let's give him a stomach cavity. Yeah. Vampire back. Yeah. A little less stomach cavity-ish. Vampire face. Mm, no. They need to look cute. The monkey's there. Orcify head. Heh <laughs> But scary. Uh, I wish I could do that on both of his hands, though. That would make it, like, so complete. That's so weird. Mm. It would kind of seal the deal, wouldn't it? I want it to be both. What's wrong with this thing? Let me go into the folder here. Let's... Arms, legs. Ouch. Right hand, left upper arm. What's all this stuff? I don't have these on here. weird. That's a weird thing, huh? Come with Fedora. And we good to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They would be wearing human clothing, right? It's not all clipping all over the place. These are amateur stuff. I think this one's okay-ish? Nah, it wouldn't work either. I've done a lot on here. I just make my own clothing from. Which should be fun. But I really just... I'll have to figure that out. Let's save this as something. Ah, uh, cobalt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off for now. Right hand corner of the page. Oh. Ah, oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. Okay. You rock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else did I miss here? Oh, man, I missed a lot. Oh, man, I missed a lot. Jesus. I could go crazy with this.
<laughs> yep. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think the back end is a little bit too much, but I'm gonna just go through most wait, wait. Is there main stuff I skipped to? No, okay. I never messed with this stuff before even. Yeah, I think something like that. Happy kobold! Don't hurt the kobolds! <laughs> make varieties of kobolds really easily. Just like make ten of them. All different kind of shapes and stuff. Kinda not sure which way I would go with this. I think this re reduces some of the, the belongness of that. Eyes? No. I'm just I'm just I'm done for now. <laughs> I just wanted that that much. <sighs> Look at this stuff you can do. Do the feet too much. Really short upper arms, really long lower arms. That makes sense. Really ripped upper arms. That's just clipping. Getting some weird shit going on here. don't want to run into this guy. Really strong upper arms and a long lower arm. That fuck you up. Let's see if I can do the same here.
Pretty cool, huh? Better than playing an MMO, if you ask me. It's gonna look pretty close to a uh, kobold. They, they don't they don't get hair
It's alright. I'm gonna adjust it later. Here's a good one. Here's a gamble. Again, this is all you have to do. Run it on the server and set your variable. This is for WR Productions. Whatever it is you're doing for an animation, gun pickup and shooting animations, let's say you've picked up your gun in the game engine but it's not showing multiplayer, just do this. Custom event. Run on server. Shablamo. Now, do your is whatever. Like, is holding gun. Or, or you would do, uh, for example, now you would, you can do your, um, you know, custom event for, for, like, I have custom events for dodge. So I could say call function server dodge back. You know, from there. Pretty straightforward. You just have to do it for like basically everything. Like for example, dodging for me is this web. It's coming from uh, if you press crouch right now. So I'm gonna take this off later on and just be like uh, basically starting from here. Anytime the dodge wants to happen, because I'm gonna play it in the game not by button press, but by when you dodge an attack. So when you dodge an attack, it's gonna say, uh, "Do you have enough stamina?" This is how my current system, right? And it goes, uh, "Okay, if you're." moving forward and moving right or, or equals zero if you're not moving basically so this is saying this bull is saying if you're not moving then yes then dodge but then what wait oh wait I need to do it again here so I can show you how I do it so that's this this top one works in single player that's funny <laughs> all right custom event server dodge so, uh, paste this, and then you can do it here. Server dodge. Give me a second. I already have it. Wait. Server dodge. Oh. I guess it does work because I'm already doing it here. Let's just do. Server dodge goes there, and if it's done, then we'll do the server dodge. server dodge will say okay are you dodging then yes set dodge on the server and then increase stamina timer on oh, no, another function but basically it's saying well if you're not moving in that direction then you must be moving dodge right so dodge right says are you moving not forward and you're moving right greater than zero move right then this is on the server, and I had to do this for each one of these variables, essentially. I couldn't just do it on one. I literally, there's a stream of me going through and doing all of these. So, just 
do what you gotta do. But I'm done for now. Been real. Oh, I should not have compiled and saved. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. I have backups. Thanks for watching.